Hello, my name is Paul Raftery and I'm CEO of Projects Our Age, based in Australia, and I'm recently back from a month in Asia. Today I'm joined by Juan Rincon, the CEO of Rincon and Associates, migration agents with operations in Australia and Colombia, and he's also the founder of and president of My Visa. AI based in Orlando these days, having started in Adelaide and having had its intellectual development also in Bogota. Juan is looking forward to receiving his minimum viable product in about seven days, and he's quite excited yeah. by this. He's led Rincon and Associates in the migration area, and he is a lawyer by background. He's experienced in the education business and getting people to travel to pursue their dreams. He's done that to bring people to Australia, North America, and to Europe. What he now has is a powerful AI instrument which will help people realize their dream. It's all about a journey. So today, what I'm looking forward to discussing with Juan is that journey. Welcome, Juan. Paul, thank you very much. It's nice to, to be here. Thank you for the invite. Could you give us a brief introduction to Rincon Associates and then to my visa? So okay, I really well, think it's important to set the context because that's what investors are now asking. But we'll go into that a bit more, but if you could just set the context. Okay. We are migration agents. We have been dealing with people trying to move globally in for the last 20 years. And this is a global trend. Uh, now, uh, and we, we have been doing this uh, professional um, consultancy for 20 years for people who like to travel to Australia, like people who like to study in America or in Europe, and they deal with too many problems. But now, what we we our next step is using all the tools of artificial intelligence to do the same uh, and better consultancy for everybody so this is basically what uh, my visa is is a legal advisor that can offer the best uh, advice to get the visa so the people can move and study globally. Fantastic. So what we want to share today is the journey you have been through and the issues that come out of trying to finance an AI based product. What we have shared together is it's not easy. And what we have found is that the original enthusiasm for AI was in the technology itself. And there was a definite fear of missing out. And people invested very quickly in it. But now when we come to the applications, it's not so simple. And a bit like the blockchain period, we're seeing someone wanting most of the work done. And this was emphasized to me last night when I was talking to the representatives of a Dubai fund who said to me, we're very, very interested in your AI projects, but we have a minimum investment of $30 million and it, we're only interested in the commercialization with the fact you have to do something in Dubai to qualify. So there's now all these strings on things. So could you briefly explain your journey and, and where we're at? Certainly, it, it, it's quite a journey. It's quite a journey because um, um, putting together a company in the, in the AI space has several aspects we have to look after. One is the true problem you like to solve. I mean, AI by itself is just a tool but how do you apply the tool how this tool serve the people add value and you must have a clear understanding of the customer need 
and this is not written anywhere. So that's what this is. This this is one aspect that you must be very careful, very very understand the people, understand the market. Many of the people who will like to use the technology are technology ignorant. So getting in, find the right tune to 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 put the pro uh, the, to to the design the product is not easy. This is one aspect that is very difficult to find. The second to solve, and the other one you must have a very good AI expert. Many 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 developers talk about the fay the AI, but really people who know AI very few. And the third aspect is the money. The money finding this is you have to have a lot of cash to to put together the project. So you burn cash every day, every week, every day, every week. So uh, and uh, and yes, I think it's a terrific opportunity. But definitely, we must we must we must put a, a very a smart team of people to put together the company. But I mean, it's it's it's, it's really interesting because what you said are the the fundamentals of any investment decision. So you have your story, the problem you want to solve and the market opportunity. And, and finally, the investor wants to know what's in it for them. But the next question they ask us, who's the team that's going to look after my money? And that's what you really captured beautifully with your um, group. So without any disrespect, Juan, most successful AI projects we can see are a team effort. It needs a leader, it needs a technical person, and it needs a commercial person. Because what you've seen is the huge amount of regulation and compliance that's required in the United States. But the, the other side of that is, is the depth of money that's available. Um, and so, yeah, so if you could... Talk to us about what you see as the issues though for a new AI company, because you've had the experience. The issues we can find is one, definitely the investors are becoming more cautious. As you said, I think uh, in, we have been in, in the States uh, talking with investors and brokers for the past six weeks and uh, they said okay well it's not about the idea let me see how your idea fit the market and they are going back to the true elements of investment i think what you call fundamentals the team who's the who's the, the behind the project uh, who's the, the, the leader, uh, the technical aspect, the, the knowledge of the market. Each market is different for each product. So I think that uh, what I notice is money is there. People like to invest. But we as a founders must be more disciplined, provide better modeling, provide better information, it really be more business oriented to convince that the money will be in good hands. Thank you. And I, 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 and I think that's universal. I think at the moment investors are wanting to see that their money is in good hands. What do you see as the next hurdles? I mean, where do you see once you get the minimum viable product, will that significantly help you in moving forward? Oh yes, I, I, I think we we mm, exhausted our our coffers getting to the to the, the to the MVP, but now it's all about commercialization. For commercialization, we need money because we need advertisement. We need uh, um, sales people, we need a very good team, we'll, we must do a lot of alliances, uh, we must do a lot of things, and then for that we need money. And this is our next hurdle. We, we have a, a really, I think, smart and down-to-earth 
marketing plan, but as any marketing plan needs investment. And this is the, 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 next, the next step for us. Yeah, I, I think that was the recognition in the conversation with the people out of Dubai. They were saying that if you're going to launch a product globally, you need a lot of money. And they yeah. would they don't want people coming back to them every six or eight weeks asking for another two or three million dollars. They want to finance them to get to the next step, to a level. So they thought getting anything with global recognition in the AI space, you needed a lot of money for marketing, distribution, education, as well as just pure the visuals that are required. So I was amazed at the that the, the, they wanted a business plan which was of that sort of element. And what we're seeing around the world is smart people being smart with their money but recognising you need to have enough to get to that important step. Okay. So what do you think are the lessons to somebody trying to set up an AI company today? I've got the bright idea. What are your steps that you would say they need to do before they put their decision to put the house on the line, as we would say in Australia? A good developer, first of all. I think you can have a very good, a very good uh, uh, idea, but uh, AI is a new science. Always there are new frontiers and new regulations coming in, into place. So you need a really solid and robust uh, AI expert and founder. I mean, is, this is this is this. I think this will be one key element, the technical part. The second part is you must to understand your own market. You must to understand what happened in the mind of your customers. Uh, 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 and, the, uh, and the third element, Paul, is, as you mentioned, enough money. Because there's too many projects going into the market, too many, too little, too many, many, many. So you, you need to have a minimum critical mass. I think once you get, you, you get that, the pro, the, 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 a good product will defend himself. And they will create and get the, the 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 network advantage, and this is what you like to find: enough money to get the the standard of the industry. Yeah. It's 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 interesting. The reason I smiled was it's actually like the array of gold projects. Um, you have to have done the work. You need to be there, and the investors got to know that the team will deliver. And so it's. Investment from an investor's perspective hasn't changed. And you've got uncertainties and like technology and mining changes everything all the time. AI applications change continuously. But ever since the core codes were released by people like Elon Musk, that you've, but you've got the information. We all know how to do AI. It's now the art is applying it. Mm-hmm. So the, the, many people know the learning process, but it's actually getting it from the theory into a practical application, which you say you need really talented people, resources for them to do it and then come to the market. What the market's saying at the moment from what we've experienced is you have to have leapt to a certain point before we will join you. And quite frankly, it's no different to mining. You've got to have a JORC report or a Canadian National Instrument 43101, and we know you've got the material. What they're saying to you is, show us a minimum viable product. Yes. It's, it's, it's sort of a, a space. So, so the people who decide to go on this journey need to have the money to get to a minimum viable product. Um, we see exactly. a lot. Of, we're seeing a lot of young entrepreneurs who are being housed in institutions around the world who have already burnt three four hundred thousand us of mum and dad's money and 
they're in that halfway house and i just not seeing people wanting to invest there the concept of angels in reaching out they're not there as, as you and i have discussed on several occasions since COVID, everybody's moved a notch and the international investors are now saying 30 million dollars is where we start because of the whole nature of commercialization of ai you have to make a big splash when you make it exactly paul uh, i am with you i think I think and had been our journey mm. uh, with, with the help of that we found that the distance between founders and investors is getting larger. So we we as investors must put more effort to get into the investors because this gap that used to be filled by angels is 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 larger now. Is larger now. So, so you, if you like to put together a, a startup, mostly in the AI industry, you must have the pockets. Well, thank you for reflecting on your experience. Um, really insightful. And also, I'd like to thank you for your time today. Oh, Paul, thank you. Uh, uh, anytime. Anytime. It has been great talking with you. I'm Paul Rauftree, CEO at Projects RH, and today i am been discussing with Juan Rincon, the CEO of Rincon and Associates Migration Agents and the president of My Visa, the issues that front new AI-based companies. Thank you for your time. And goodbye for now, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.